The following passenger service program is brought to you by United Airlines. Please join us as we bring you to the United States, to the great state of New York, and to New York City. We will be arriving at New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport, also known as JFK. JFK is New York's main international airport and lies 15 miles or 24 kilometers southeast of Manhattan. This flight will be arriving at Terminal 7. Because this is an international flight, all passengers entering the United States must first clear immigration and U.S. customs. Upon exiting the aircraft, you will proceed through a corridor down to the arrivals level of the airport. In order to expedite entry into the United States, please have your completed travel documents ready for the immigration officer. Passengers who have been pre-cleared through the U.S. INSPAS program may proceed to the INSPAS clearance system in the Immigration Hall. U.S. and Canadian citizens and permanent U.S. residents need only present their passport and completed U.S. customs form to the immigration officer. All other passengers must present their passport, a completed U.S. customs form, and a completed U.S. immigration form. The U.S. Customs form must be completed in English, in full, by every arriving passenger. If a family is traveling together, the head of the household must complete the form. Remember to sign and date the Customs form. If you need to complete an immigration form, use the white form if you have a visitor's visa. If you do not have a visitor's visa and are traveling under the Visa Waiver Program, use the green form. It is important to accurately complete both the arrival and departure records on these forms. All forms must be completed in blue or black ink and write only in capital letters. If you are completing the green form, you must also complete the back. Be sure to sign and date the back of the green form. If you have any difficulty in completing these forms, ask your flight attendant or United Airlines representative for assistance. Remember, Customs and immigration forms must be completed in full before presenting them to an immigration officer. After clearing immigration, you will proceed to United Airlines baggage claim area to reclaim your baggage. All passengers must claim their bags. Make sure your baggage claim checks match your final destination. For your convenience, baggage carts are available. Electronic signs will identify the baggage carousel assigned to your flight. After collecting your baggage, proceed to U.S. Customs and Agriculture. Have your completed customs form ready for the inspector. If you are bringing food or agricultural products into the country, you must declare these items on your customs form. If you're not sure what can or cannot be brought into the United States, declare it, then ask a U.S. Customs inspector for assistance. If you are transferring your baggage to another United Airlines, United Express, or another airline today, see your United Customer Service representative at the baggage recheck counter after clearing U.S. Customs and Agriculture. Refer to flight information monitors for your gate assignment just outside of Customs. United Transfer passengers will exit to the arrivals hall and take escalators up to the United Airlines departure level. Proceed through security to your connecting gate. If you are transferring to another airline today, courtesy buses will take you to your airline terminal. United Airlines is proud to have joined with other leading airlines to create the Star Alliance. Information about our alliance partners and our code share relationships with other leading airlines can be found in your Hemispheres magazine. Hotel directories, courtesy phones, currency exchange, ground transportation, and authorized yellow taxi services are available as you leave. If this is your final destination, we hope your stay is enjoyable. If you are continuing on, we wish you a pleasant journey. And thank you for flying United Airlines.